welcome everybody. I can see everybody still pouring in now. We're going to jump straight into the presentation though. People can catch up if they're a little bit late because today we have an incredible uh, training for you. Really, we're going to explain this opportunity basically of a lifetime that we're in at the moment and has been sped up by recent events. And this is an opportunity that has personally changed my life. And I'm going to show you exactly how. And I'm going to do it in an efficient way. I hate really long, boring presentations. So this is not going to be that. This is going to be one that is uh, efficient and, and gets the point across to you. And then we'll get to the question and answer at the end where you can ask all the questions that you have and I'll be able to answer them. So really this training is, is here for you and this training is going to be tailored uh, to your needs. So if you have any questions, you can pop them in the uh, question box throughout. I'll get a few of them fed through to me but we'll answer the majority of them at the end. And if you're on now, hopefully you have set a little bit of time aside because there is going to be bonuses for just attending this webinar, which we'll give you access to at the end of it, as well as bonuses, uh, a lot of really cool bonuses for everybody. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the reason that everybody is here is uh, to launch a $40,000 a month Amazon brand with no experience needed at the start. We're gonna get you the experience, that's what this webinar is actually for. And we need to make sure it's working in 2020. We need to make sure it's actually working this year. So, if you don't know me or you're not familiar with me, you haven't come through my YouTube channel, my name is Benji. These are three photos of me. Uh, this is me in the left, I'm in Bali. In the middle, I'm in the UK with my sister. And in the right, I'm in Rome. So, I like to travel a lot uh, and I like to just really I prioritize having a good time and living life on my own terms. But I know I've done a lot of these presentations before. I've done them myself as an actual student. And this is probably the question that most of you have at the moment is why should you trust me? Because you, it'd be dangerous if you went out on the internet and just started trusting everybody that you heard. Uh, I got a weird accent coming over the, over the uh, phone or coming over the presentation at the moment. That's uh, that's a little bit foreign. And, I can understand that you, most people are going to be skeptical at the start, which you 100% should be. Um, I'm actually Australian if you are wondering what the accent is, and I'd love to actually know where everybody around the world is is checking in from, because I know we have quite a global audience. So if you are from if you're from anywhere in the world, <laughs> put that in the uh, chat box and I'll read some of them out. I um, always love to see where people are tuning in from. Uh, so we got USA, we got Southern California, that's awesome, Lin Lin. We've got Atlanta, Canada, we've got a few Canadas, Randy, Murray, Lex, Safat, all Canada, Brandon's in the US, Maryland, Tasmania, that's awesome, Sue, close by, I'm actually in Melbourne, Australia, uh, we've got New Zealand, more Canadas, London, New York, UK, Tony's got no sound, uh, so I don't know how to help you there, Tony, hopefully one of the technicians can jump in and get you some sound, uh, Rich from Colorado, Manchester, Berlin, lots of UKs, we've got Washington, Florida, um, so yeah, we're, we're really connecting uh, from all around the world, which I'm excited. But uh, to, to understand why you should trust me, and I hope to build a little bit more trust over the actual presentation, is I've been in e-commerce 14 years. I started when I was 14 years old, I'm now 28, and I started by uh, selling things on eBay with my little brother. Um, over the last 14 years, we've built a seven-figure brand leveraging Amazon FBA as soon as we uh, transition from eBay, uh, the small time to Amazon, it just really took off. Uh, and I've taught thousands of people, actually tens of thousands of people, how to create successful online businesses. And I personally, uh, me and my team have launched over 20 Amazon FBA products. And at this point, we really just have it down to an algorithm and really down to a science that you can replicate over and over again. Uh, if you haven't come through my YouTube channel, uh, you can go over and follow us. We are decoded. Uh, also, this should help you trust me a little bit more. You know, I've been in teaching uh, Amazon FBA for three over three years now, so it's not a flash in the pan here. It's something I'm actually uh, enjoying and, and something a lot of people follow me uh, through. So if you want to go over to YouTube, you could type in Decoded. You can hit that subscribe button. Um, after the presentation, you can go back and watch some of my videos and really get help with anything that you want when it comes to e-commerce or Amazon FBA. But Enough about me. This is now needs to be about what you get from it. And these are some of my students, some of the people who follow me on YouTube. And these are people, most of them, I'll tell you when they do have experience, a lot of these people had absolutely zero experience when they started. They're in a very similar position to you. They come onto a presentation, they find a YouTube video, 
They have no idea. They've never actually launched a brand before. And these are the ridiculous results that they were getting. This is Kawhi. He did $6,200 on his first month on Amazon, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we have Tyler who did $1,500 in his first week. And these are all posted in our private uh, Facebook community. Uh, Bobby McLaughlin, he is a engineer by trade, but he switched and actually engineered his own product, launched it on Amazon FBA, and did over $10,000. He hit the 10K mark within his first month. Here again, this is Tyler. He did $10,000 in his second month. You can see his sales report there at $44,000 of product sales. Um, and he's got a couple of weird looking fish uh, in his hands. Uh, bonus points for anyone in the chat who knows what sort of fish that is. Uh, here we have, um, I'm not, not familiar with his name, but he's also done $10,000 in 30 days, which is the important thing. We got Joe Cardillo, a good friend of mine uh, who met me through our YouTube channel, and he sold 400 units of his stock within the first month. John Walburn was doing $400 a day within his first month. Uh, Deepak, now this is a fascinating one. Deepak actually uh, named his kid after me. There is a kid in India with the name Benji because of he found my YouTube channel, he launched a ridiculously successful Amazon FBA brand. And in honor of that, he named the kid after me. So that's a massive honor from Deepak, but a, a very interesting story to, uh, to share. So it's not impossible to do this if you don't have experience. All you need to know is you need to first get the experience, which is not that hard, and that's what you're here for today, and we're gonna get that to you. And once you actually execute on that, and once you take action, which is a big part of Amazon FBA, if you're not, taking action. If you're not the type of person to follow through on something, you're not going to do well. But if you are, these are the sort of results that you're going to get. These ones with the massive sales numbers, ones that can be overwhelming. And it also is going to depend on your budget. For example, this one here is over $200,000 in just two months. This is one of my sales reports for when I started um, within my first about 15 months. Uh, this is, I had over uh, $200,000 in two months of sales. Uh, because of these formulas that we're going to follow. And uh, these are the past, you know, these are people who are doing very well. These are people who have launched successful brands and have that experience now, but it's now your turn. It's now your turn to step up to the plate because the thing about this Amazon FBA opportunity is that it's absolutely massive and it's a given thing. You know, this is not something that's, uh, it's, it, people are talking about it for a reason. It is the gold rush of our time. It's people moving from retail, it's people moving from the old way of selling things onto the new way, onto the internet, onto the thing that's much more efficient, it's much more uh, profitable. You know, you don't have to have the brick and mortar stores. And there's going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who are doing this over the next few years, and they're gonna do it very profitably. So the question is, do you want to be part of those people? It's not will there be people profitable? It's will you step up and will you open your own online store and will you open and start your own brand and get that freedom for yourself? And this is the best way to start because if you're here right now, you're in the perfect place. I'm gonna help you as much as I can. I'm gonna give you all the info that you need. And if you need uh, more info, uh, stay to the end because not only do you get a bonus, a really awesome bonus, which uh, you know we can't fit everything into the 60 to to 80 minutes that you're gonna be here with me now. So we have YouTube videos and we have amazing resources uh, that are gonna give you a further education. And just for being here, you're gonna get that obviously completely free. So to talk about what is on everyone's mind, to talk about what's in the media right now, it's called the tombstone economy. Now, this is just in 2018. All of these stores closed down a large amount of retail uh, outlets. You got Kmart, you got the Best Buys, you got the Rite Aids, the Toys R Uses. These are not the small mum and pop shops. They're basically already gone. These are the big uh, franchises, the big massive companies who are struggling to turn a profit because of the uh, big trend of people shopping online. It's so much easier to log onto Amazon. It's so much easier to pull up a, a window on your phone and click buy than it is to get into your car, go down to the store, get into Best Buy see that the prices in Best Buy are actually more expensive than online and still have to pick that item up and go get it uh, checked out and then they have to pay for the, the, the cashiers and their overhead is so big uh, that they're really just operating in an outdated model. And this is the result of it. You can see and you can go and uh, watch the stock prices of all of these big uh, retail giants who aren't actually adapting to the new landscape 
all of their stocks, all of their share prices are plummeting because they just can't turn a profit. Um, and there's a lot of businesses actually going out, um, going out of business. And the ones that are actually thriving are the ones who are adapting to this new landscape. Now, the founder of Shopify. So if you know Shopify, put a one in the chat. Shopify is an amazing tool that helps people start their own actual website and sell their own products. It's a little bit different to Amazon because it doesn't actually supply the traffic. You're in charge of selling the, uh, of supplying the traffic, but it is similar that a lot of these stores uh, who are in the retail and a lot of people who are starting to sell online open these Shopify stores um, and a lot of people open them in tandem with an Amazon FBA store as well, like, like myself. And the founder of Shopify, the, he's worth $6 billion. He has beautiful eyes. <laughs> and he said in a recent podcast, I was listening to a podcast with him and Gary V, that the current pandemic, the things that are going on, the sadness that is out there, uh, has done nothing but speed up the inevitable. It's bought technology that was going to be here in 2030 to 2020. If anyone looks at Amazon's stock price, which we are going to in a second, we're going to see how much it's jumped, how much people are spending on Amazon. They're spending so much money that Amazon's warehouses were overloaded and full and people were finding it hard to actually get their products into Amazon because the demand was so high because every other store, every other retail outlet was shutting down. And this is what that looks like. This is Amazon's stock price. You remember, and I'm just going to jump back here. This is Macy's stock price. This is not just Macy's. This is JCPenney. This is Best Buy. This is all the other big retail stores and you can go and have a look yourself, they're all going downhill. Meanwhile, there's one brand, there's only one uh, retailer, and this is an online retailer, who looks like this. And you can see that ridiculously consistent and that late, that large uh, spike at the end is the spike we're talking about. Um, but it's just such an exponential growth from Jeff, Jeff Bezos and his company because they are playing the trend. The trend is that this is a superior way to sell products. Uh, so much so that have a look at the last two so-called recessions. You've got the 2008 recession, the, the global financial crisis. You can't even find that dip on Amazon. Where Where is the dip in their sales and their stock price? Where all other companies, like you saw Macy's, uh, we'll go back one more time, in 2008 absolutely plummeted. Uh, Amazon, you can't even see it because it's 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 such a unique company that's tailored to last through these uh, trials and tribulations. And you can see recently too, where a lot of other stocks have plummeted, Amazon has absolutely thrived because people have turned to Amazon uh, to keep them uh, shopping, to keep them keep their essentials stocked up in their cupboards. Uh, and this is very evident in just the results. If you look anywhere, you'll see that Amazon is absolutely dominating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so much so that they've become the world's second trillion dollar company behind Apple. Apple was the first trillion dollar company and Amazon was the second. You know, this is a historic moment and the crazy thing, unlike Apple, you know, you can't sell your product in the Apple store, no matter, uh, well, you, you can, but it's very hard. You know, you can get a contract if you're a big company, but people like me and you, we can't go and just get, put our product in the Apple store. However, for Amazon, for the second a trillion dollar company in the world, we can actually take up sh some shelf space. We can actually use their warehouses, use their logistic companies, use their customer service, use their returns policies, use all of this, use their traffic, their hundreds of millions, about 600 million people shop on Amazon. We can get in front of them using fulfillment by Amazon. And fulfillment by Amazon is absolutely ridiculous. Once again, Amazon breaks all sorts of records. They did 180 million items in just one weekend. 180 million items they sold in two days or three days. I think it was a long weekend. That is the uh, greater than the population of 223 countries in the world. They sold that many products in just a weekend. It's absolutely mind-blowing their scale. and. Uh, before we jump into the training, and this is the, the the most wordy lecture, you know, I'm not here to bore you, I'm not here to lecture you, but I just want to get this across before we jump into the actual training, that this is not some late night infomercial theory. This is something that you do. You shop on Amazon, your friends shop on Amazon, I shop on Amazon. This is something that's actually in the real world and things that are working. It's a business model that's really working today better than ever. 
Um, and we've iterated the system hundreds of times. You know, we have the experience in this and we know the process and we're about to give you that exact process uh, without you having to go out there and fail a hundred times. Uh, we have hundreds of successful results, success stories, and we are building a real business. This is something that is actually valuable. You know, it's not a, a Facebook ad to a funnel that's going to disappear overnight. This is something that is actually legitimate. And best of all, you don't actually need $20, uh, $20. you do need $20. You don't need $20,000 to start. You don't need $100,000 to start. If you were to open a McDonald's franchise, if you were to open a retail store, you're going to need a couple hundred thousand dollars. This is a unique opportunity where I personally just got started for $500. And very quickly, I turned that $500 into about $12,000 over about four to five months. And I'm going to show you exactly the process I used to do that. And uh, the, a quick side note here is you don't need $20,000 to start, to start. But if you are investing something like $20,000, it's going to speed up your process. However, if you are like me and you don't have that much money, don't have that access to that much capital, or even just want to test out the system first and don't have that much confidence in this system, that's totally fine. You can start from a, for a very, very low budget like I did myself. So let's jump into actually what we're going to do. So for those who don't know, which is going to be the minority of you guys, but this is very helpful. This is Amazon FBA in a nutshell. If you simplify it, we go and we find a fishing pole, mainly in China, because that's where they are the cheapest, for about $12. Now, they're going to be high quality uh, fishing poles. We'll jump into the exact what, uh, criteria of what we need in a product in a minute. And then we're going to go and sell it on Amazon in front of their 600 million people who are over there shopping and say a couple, uh, 20,000 people a month are searching for fishing pole on Amazon. We're going to be ranking our product on Amazon so that people find us, can see our product, and we're going to sell it for five to six times the price that we bought for it. And we're going to split that with Amazon. We're going to split that profit with Amazon and make money. Now, how easy is it to make money on Amazon? It's, it's a simple process, but I wouldn't say it's easy. It does take work and it takes the right knowledge, which you're about to get here. But have a look at this photo. This photo is um, of the Champ. Champs I do not speak French, but I believe that's a, a pretty good pronunciation of the street. It's in Paris, of course. And uh, I don't know exactly how many people are here, but I know there's hundreds of thousands. And it's a good visual representation. A lot of people see this and it really clicks and really pushes them over the line that there are 300,000 people selling on Amazon that do over $100,000 of revenue a year. So that's 300,000 people. So say in this photo, there's 300,000 people. Each one of these people are selling a product or a brand on Amazon, and each one of these people are making six figures a year doing it. That's how massive this opportunity is. Uh, when you visualize it like that, it's like, okay, you know what, if I join this crowd, that's not really gonna impact much at all. It's very, it would impact your life, it would impact my life, me making an extra, an extra six figures a year, but it's not gonna impact really anything at all. We're just joining a trend. We're joining something that's already working, something that's already out there and absolutely crushing it. And we're just becoming another number uh, in that actual trend and revolutionizing our lives by doing that. And Amazon sells $500 million a day, if you weren't excited enough, $500 million. Like it's, it's a ridiculous amount of money to sell a year. Amazon do it every single day. So think about it. How much money would it take to really change your life? I know it's a lot less than $500 million. If it's $500 million, we definitely have some problems, but uh, there is an opportunity to make it back. Um, but if it's $100,000 a year, or if it's $200,000 a year, or if even just ten dollars or $20,000 extra a year coming in would really help you Think about the uh, opportunity that you have here. If you just need $100,000 a year to really change your life or really see that this works and then double down on it and then uh, grow it from there, you only need a tiny, tiny little piece of this. This is $500 million a day pie. And uh, if you can just get 0.0001% of that pie, if you can just walk into that crowd on the Champs de Lis and actually just join it and just take a tiny little piece of that pie, your life is going to be revolutionized. And that is what we're here to do. If you didn't see it on this page, I did put a little crumb to the side of that pie on the right-hand side uh, for the people with the keen eye. That is the crumb that we're here for. And that crumb is, is much bigger than the percentage that we actually need. Uh, but that's 
what it takes, just a tiny little piece. So we're about to jump into the actual training, but I need to see who's excited to actually see that training in the chat. If you can put a, a one in the chat, uh, or an, um, I'm excited in the chat. Here we go, we have a lot of excited people. And again, everyone has the same last name as the first name here, it's a very interesting glitch. But we have Ted, we have Aaron, we have Lynn, Chol, Wanda, Mari, Brian, Song. Oh, my chat just reset to the top. Now we got a lot of people coming in, excited, Barso, Eric, Charlotte, Marcia. Very, very cool. Let's go, says Ted, let's do this, yes please. Uh, we got Pauline, who wrote Pauline, I'm glad. <laughs> Pauline's feeling feeling herself. Uh, Jag Deep, Tony says, let's go. Mauricio, okay, we've got a lot of comments. We don't want to, uh, we've got George, who's okay. He's very excited. we got little sparkles from Safet. Uh, Daniel says, booyah, which is awesome. I'm just going to grab a quick drink of water, and then we are going to jump in to the process. So if everyone just dr grabs a drink of water with me, we want to stay hydrated. Awesome, so let's jump into the actual simple process. So now this is a five step process, but the, there's a couple of steps in here that don't take much at all. So really it's a three step process, uh, which we've expanded into five, just for clarity for you. If you have any questions, pop them in the question box. This is for you now. This is, um, this is to get the exact formula, the exact algorithm that's working for all those people who are standing in the champs de -Lis. Everyone's taking advantage of it. Now I'm going to get it into your head. We want to download this knowledge so you can go out there and execute on it and get the same results that everybody else is getting. So if you don't understand something, if something's going too fast for you, pop it in the question box and we'll get to it at the end and we'll clarify that for you. Um, also, I may be covering it uh, in the, one of the next steps. So you can actually just write that down. And if I don't cover it, then you pop it in the question box and... Uh, and then we're good to go. So Daniel said he got a sip of whiskey and he's ready to go. So let's jump in quickly for Daniel before he forgets it all. So it is a simple process. And it is basically, I've got this little, uh, this little detective guy just following the footsteps because that's what we're doing, following the footsteps of people who have already done it. Of course, we need to start by finding a profitable product. This is where a lot of people fall down. This is where a lot of people hit that first wall and really just stop. Uh, and they get overwhelmed. So I want to break through this wall with you here today. If you can break through this wall, you're further than 90% of people in this position. So if you are trying to work out what has already been successful, if you're trying to go to Amazon and you're trying to see what products are selling well that you can jump in and get a little piece of that pie, it's super tedious. It's like doing a really big math equation on this on a chalkboard, which I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, and you're trying to work out what the demand is for the niche. You're trying to work out how many sales they're making. You're trying to work out where their traffic comes from. You're trying to work out which product is actually doing well and what uh, criteria do we even apply to it. So if you're doing it by hand, it's very, very tedious. This is why we're partnered with AMZ Scout for this webinar, because they really are like an angel in the sky who can help us filter all the products on Amazon and locate the most pro profitable areas to infiltrate. So we're not going in blind feeling ourselves around, we're going in uh, with our eyes wide open and with a software on our side. So the analogy I like to give, and you can see the fishing rods are a big analogy in this actual uh, training, is if we're out there by ourselves, we're trying to catch a fish. We're trying to catch a fish and we're trying to inspect the fish and we're trying to see if it's the best fish we can possibly get. AMZ Scout, using the software AMZ Scout, is like using a fishing net, a massive fishing net where we can pick up a lot of fish and then put back safely and humanely, of course, the fish that we don't want and just keep the fish that we do want, the most profitable, the best looking fish. So how do we... Uh, because the thing about the software is it, it takes two. If it was just the software that made you profitable, well, then everyone would be profitable. However, the lucky thing for us is it's going to take your knowledge and skills plus the software. You're going to have to guide the software to fish in the right place in order to bring back what we want. And that's how we get ahead of everyone else. We apply what I call the profitable product matrix. Now, if you do have a pen and, a pen and paper handy or a computer, which I'm sure you do, a notepad, of course, make sure you don't close down this uh, presentation. Uh, it's only just started, the party's getting <laughs> getting warmed up in here. 
but make sure you can uh, write these down. I will be coming back to it once or twice, but this is um, the, the best look that you're gonna get at this. So the profitable product matrix is basically the matrix you have to apply. This is where you're instructing, what you're instructing you, the software to pull back for you. What sort of fish are you after? And these are the good ones. So let's go through them one by one. The first one, you want a sales price above $15. If you can get something that's selling for higher than $15, there's gonna be a higher profit margin in there for you. If you have it less than $15, you can still make it profitable, but because of the Amazon fees and the shipping, it may eat into your profit margin. So you want something that sells for more than $15. You want it no heavier than two pounds for obvious reasons. If you're getting it shipped from China, you're getting it shipped internationally, or even just domestically, it's tough to, um, it's expensive to ship uh, something that's heavy. So you want it lighter than two pounds. You want less than 500 reviews. So if there's a product out there, say we're selling a pen uh, and someone has 50,000 reviews on Amazon and they're rated really high, it's hard to break into that market. So we wanna make sure that there's room for us in that market. A less than 4.2 rating, this is sort of the golden criterion which we'll be focusing on. We'll come back to this. But there's a reason why we want a less than 4.2 rating, uh, which, I won't explain now because that is a step, the next step. Uh, and then greater than $10,000 revenue. You don't wanna sell a product that's not already selling. If there's no demand out there for it, we're not getting a piece of any pie. There is no pie to be had because nobody's, no, nobody's actually spending money on that product and therefore we won't get money. We wanna make sure that the successful products, people who are doing $10,000 a month, that is revenue, they're making three to $5,000 of profit a month. Now that's what we want. So we wanna make sure that it's already out there, that the demand's already out there and we just need to tap into it. So these are our five most uh, profitable product matrix criterions. And to go and apply this manually, like I said with this fishing rod, is tough. But what we do is we instruct AMZ Scout in actually going out there and fishing for us. So you can see this is one of their uh, software tools that we're gonna use and you can basically plug and play. So you can see here, $15 plus sales price, that's number one. Uh, no heavier than two pounds, you pop that in right here. Less than 500 reviews, pop it in right here. All on top of each other, these are all getting stacked. Uh, rating, less than 4.2, remember we'll get to that in just a second. And estimated sales, over $10,000, and this is once again, per month. And then the magic button down there, find products. Get the fishing net out there in the sea, and start fishing. And this is what it's gonna pull back. This is going to clarify a lot of things for you. You can see it's gonna bring back pages and pages and pages of these products that actually fit this perfect profitable criteria. Now there are some more criteria which will apply to it because probably all of these things, not quite, but all of these things can be profitable. But even within the profitable product matrix, there are some that are gonna be more profitable than others. others some that you can grow into a brand much easier. And they're the ones that we're going to be pulling out. So for the example today, we went through and you saw how quick we pulled uh, that software up and it only takes a few minutes um, and a couple of hours maximum if you're a starter. But you can find products like this. This is an adjustable book stand. It's doing $18,000 a month. So you can see it's being pulled back uh, and it's doing $18,000 a month because it fits our criteria. Uh, you can see they're selling it for $25.99. Um, and you can see the photo of it on the far left is the adjustable book stand itself. So you can see it looks like it's for textbooks or it looks like it's for people who are reading at a desk and maybe taking notes at the same time. Um, actually, if I go to the next slide, we'll get a better view at it. This is the actual um, Amazon listing of it. You can see it's it's basically supposed to hold textbooks open and you can see the the lady in the photo is actually taking manual notes with a, with a paper and pen. Um, as I hope all of you are doing uh, for this webinar. Uh, and uh, she doesn't have to actually uh, hold the book open. So very simple um, product. And you can see it's got 193 ratings. It actually sells. And as we saw, and this is the x-ray vision that AMZ Scout allows to have, we know how much money they make a month, $17,595. So does it fit our profitable product matrix? We wanna cross check sometimes um, some, some things sneak through, but yes, it's more than $15. It's $26, which is a great price. It's not heavier than two pounds. It's got less than 500 reviews. So, you know, there's, there's 
there's room to catch up. There's uh, there's space in there for us to take a few crumbs. Uh, less than 4.2 rating. There we go. We've got an asterisk and a blue tick because, or a blue check. It depends where you are in the world. Um, because we're going to jump into that in just a second, and it's greater than ten thousand dollars a month. Awesome. So here we are, less than a four point two rating. Now, what does this actually mean, and why is this the most important criteria once we fill all the other ones? So you can see these are the actual reviews of this book stand on Amazon. You can see Savannah Stefanel uh, said, "Great concept for a book holder, but the plastic page holders at the bottom are not reliable." Um, and then Anne Sandroni down the bottom said, very flimsy, was hoping it would be perfect for my family member that had a stroke and only used one hand to read his paper or use his iPad, but was not tall enough for the paper and too flimsy for the iPad. So you can see that people actually have a problem with this product. But this was one thing that actually shocked me when I joined Amazon or started selling on Amazon, should I say, is they're doing $18,000 a month but they have a four star rating. You know, when I shop on Amazon, I don't buy anything that's four star. However, I see products with a 3.5 to a four star rating that are doing tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, just like this one. And the amazing thing is, is this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to get ahead and get ahead on a sustainable level. So uh, if you throw something that's pretty crappy into the market, you may get great results immediately. You may make a little bit of cash up front, but it's not going to be long term sustainable. However, if we can actually just go ahead and make these uh, make this thing less flimsy, which is very easy to do, and I'll talk about it in a minute with you, uh, we can actually get a five star rating, a four point six, a four point seven star rating, and we can then overtake this person because we actually have a better product for them. Uh, better product than them. So once we find that, once we find that little that product, we also want to zoom out a bit. So this this is a step that most people actually miss. So we've zoomed in on the product. We're like, cool, this fits our criteria. However, that product is part of a bigger niche. There are other people who are going to be selling these book stands, and it's really cool to go and copy what the other people are doing well and take the best of both worlds and put them into our new product. So we're going to validate the opportunity in the niche as well as the product. So you can see I've gone to Amazon and I've typed adjustable book stand. And what pops up are Amazon's best recommendations for adjustable book stand. You can see the one we were on uh, there, number two. But there's also some wooden ones and there's some other um, interesting looking ones. So this is the overall uh, landscape of the niche. Now down the bottom left, we have this ANZ Scout button. When we push that, we can get a glimpse into the overall niche, so not just the one product. And uh, the big column that I always look at first is the demand in the niche. So you can see where estimated revenue is in the middle there. There's a lot of people who are doing over $10,000 a month. That's excellent news for market depth. If you look at the top here, it's going to summarize the niche, the niche really cleanly for you. So it's going to give the niche a score, and it's going to go from it's going to use the average amount of reviews, the average price, all the profitable matrix that we talked about earlier. It's going to now apply that to the entire niche and give that a score. So you can see the niche score here is an eight, which is extremely, extremely good. Uh, AMZ Scout call it likely to succeed. Um, so when you open this up, it shows you the criteria, it shows you everything uh, that you need to be considering, uh, everything that we've already put in in our profitable product matrix in order to see and verify that this niche not only has depth, um, but you can actually get ahead and get some market share in this niche. You can see the saturation score is just one, meaning it's not oversaturated. There's no one out here with uh, tens of thousands of reviews who you can't actually come and compete with. And there's not hundreds or thousands of people who are getting into this niche. Uh, once again, here is the estimated revenue. This is the demand. And if you, at a glimpse, you can see at the top, the average monthly revenue is 19,000. Remember, this is revenue, this is not profit. But a typical, uh, for the question that I know is bound to come, the typical profit range is about 25 to 40%. Um, so I use about a th one third uh, profit. So if you see something like $25,000 uh, a month, they're probably making about $8,000 in the green uh, once they get their product up and moving. 
so you can see these are the number of reviews and you want to just make sure once again here uh, all we're doing here is verifying that this niche is not saturated so you're going to get a glimpse at the saturation score but also come down here and see that there's a room for you and and the, one of the best ways to do that is to go and have a look at the people with really low reviews you can see there's someone with six reviews in here and someone with 21 reviews in here now the one with 21 reviews which is very easy to get these reviews is doing about twenty thousand dollars a month already so you don't need you know you're not going to be blocked out because you have less reviews the person with six reviews is already doing eight thousand dollars a month of revenue so these are new movers into this market who are already gaining traction and that validates this niche for us so we've got a validated product a validated niche and now we need to find the perfect supplier so this is one of those steps that i said is not really a step because it's easy it's very very simple and once again this is why ANZ Scout is such a, a great software because it makes it so easy. We can actually use uh, their software to find the exact suppliers that our competitors are using. So we're gonna click that drop down there and then we are going to go to find at Alibaba. If you don't know what Alibaba is, it is basically the world's biggest marketplace for connecting with suppliers where uh, years ago not even that long ago about 10 to 20 years ago you'd have to get on a plane fly to china and actually go and meet factory to factory to get your product sourced technology has come so far and this is why we're at the convergence of the two um and this is why this is such a gold rush opportunity because this is the beginning of it is that you can get connected to anyone in china anyone who uh, who's not in china even this is a worldwide uh, platform and get your product sourced for ridiculously cheap prices um, from the comfort of your home. And you can see here, this is one of the products that we had uh, selling on Amazon for $26. It sells uh, to you at wholesale for $7 a piece at the most expensive. So you can see the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. You can also play some suppliers against each other. And once again, this is more in the advanced training, which will give you the bonuses uh, to at the end where you can understand all of this, but you can get this price down a little bit. But even if we use the baseline of $7 a piece, it's so much um, opportunity in there for us to make a profit. So you, you wanna make sure here are the important things about a supplier. You wanna make sure that they have trade assurance. This means you are not at risk. A lot of people who get started they're nervous about sending money to a supplier. They think they're just gonna run off with it. And if you can see this trade assurance button, this means that Alibaba is actually protecting your order. They're gonna make sure that you're happy. And I really recommend that anyone who's spending money uh, uses this trade assurance to make sure that people don't run away with that, your money. Uh, if you're at all concerned, use this Alibaba trade assurance for your product. Uh, and then over here, there's a contact supplier. So instead of booking a flight, getting to China, going and shaking hands and hiring a translator and talking, you can actually talk to a representative at this company and immediately start getting uh, quotes and immediately start bargaining down and uh, make sure that the one other thing I'd like to say on this is make sure that you're going for quality items. You wanna make sure you're getting samples for your items and you wanna make sure, like I said at the start, if you go for low quality items, uh, you're not gonna be making money in the long term you may make money in the short term but it's a very short term play here we saw that if we want a higher than a 4.2 rating we want to make ours a little bit more sturdy we want to make sure that we communicate with the supplier we want to make sure we're fixing the problems that our competitors are having so that we come out ahead in the long term this is the real secret it's not some uh, fun elaborate loophole it's just making sure we sell a really high quality product in a niche that the demand is already there now, a little bit of a fun thing before we jump into step four is we can now calculate the profits. So a lot of people say, well, this is revenue. How much money are you actually making? We click this profit calculator right here. Once again, this is AMZ Scouts uh, software. You just click the drop down. If you don't see this initially, you can see the little arrows on the left-hand side. Um, if you click that, this is where you get the extra options in the, that software menu. And then you come and uh, click the profit calculator where that big red arrow is pointing to, and then it pulls up this. So this is where you can plug and play. So basically you can put at the top the product price. This is how much it sells for on Amazon, 26 bucks. Product cost, it costs us $7 from Alibaba as we just saw, uh, and it'll give you all the 
it'll pull basically all the size and weight and then it'll pull the fees that Amazon will take. This is automatically done. This is why we use the calculator. And you can see the total FBA fee, so the total fee that Amazon take for bringing us the customer, hosting our, uh, holding our item in their warehouse, shipping it out to their customer, $9.47. Meaning what goes into our pocket after we pay Amazon and after we pay for the actual product from the supplier is $9.52 per sale, every single sale, uh, which is a 36% margin on this product specifically uh, for the example that we're going through which is 136% return on investment, an estimated monthly profit just below uh, $7,000 for this uh, specific example. Now, this is where worlds start to shatter. This is where the, uh, this photo sort of sums it up well. It's sort of mind blowing when you realize, cool, we've been focusing on one niche, but there are millions of niches on Amazon. Uh, from this fake remote control cockroach with a 3.5 rating that's doing $73,000 a month. Uh, these little dog shoes, cute little dog shoes for a little puppy, they sell for 22 bucks. You can source these so cheaply for about three or four dollars, put your own brand on it. They're doing $21,000 a month. Uh, resistance bands are doing $171,000 a month. They, they've obviously made them pretty. They put their own brand on it, the Bellus. Oh, I don't even know. It's a pretty terrible brand name. Um, but you can see they're also rated four stars. There's room to move in here and improve. And we don't need to do $171,000 a month, remember? We want to make sure we're defining how much we need to change our life. And then we're attacking that. We can always grow from there. Here's a pair of kitchen tongs, one of the simplest things ever. 34 reviews, you know, they're just getting started similar to the cockroach, uh, remote control cockroaches. $30,000 a month on them. This is the thing. If you can apply this to any niche you need, any niche that you see on Amazon. And this is why I recommend you go into a niche that you're actually passionate about because you're going to be excited to wake up. You're going to be excited to work on your product. You're going to be excited to make it high quality and, and serve your customers. Number four. Now, this is the fun part. You want to expand into a brand. This is where a lot of people fall off. They launch a product, it gets profitable, they have a lot of money coming in, and they don't manage cash flows properly, and uh, they just get stuck. But what you need to do is you need to expand into a brand. If you think you launch your first product, which is a book holder, uh, and it works and it scales to $200 a day or $6,000 a month, we now need to launch a second product because we want to expand horizontally. We don't have to keep forcing more people to that product, we can actually go and get a second product uh, that is relevant to the first product and very quickly double the amount of money that is coming in. Uh, this is another one to note down. Seven times easier to sell a custom, uh, sell to a customer, a customer that's already bought something for, from you than it is to a stranger. So if, for example, uh, you run a retail store, an old school brick and mortar store, in the city and you sell um, a book, you sell books, you know, like a little old school Amazon and a customer rolls in, they buy one of your books, uh, it's reasonably priced, they take it home, they really enjoy it and then they're walking past your store a second time and you said, hey, uh, we actually have a book sale on this new book that, uh, that I think that you would actually really enjoy, they're seven times more likely to be like, you know what, I had a good experience with this person, I like their product, go in and buy that second book than someone who's never heard of you before walking past um, your shop. And to put this onto the online world and the digital world, it's the exact same thing. If someone has bought something from you before and enjoyed your experience, which is why we have high quality products, uh, they are seven times more likely to buy from you again. So this is why we now start to serve your actual current customers. So. In this example, we are selling Probiotic Dog Bites, a really amazing brand by Zesty Paws who do millions and millions of dollars just on Amazon every single year. So Amazon has brought them, say in this example, it's much more than 5,000, but to, to start, say they brought them 5,000 customers because Amazon have a lot of people who are shopping for dog toys, shopping for dog probiotics, who are shopping for dog supplements, dog health, everyone who's looking into it, uh, who is the target market, they're all there on Amazon. And they pop their listing up, they optimize it well, uh, they get a few reviews, and all of a sudden these customers start pouring in, 5,000 customers. So they're making some profit here. The worst thing, and one of the biggest mistakes I see, is they're like, oh, I ran my software again and I saw another profitable product. 
first one, uh, I got recommended by the software to do probiotic bites. Uh, so I did that and it was profitable. The second one, I launched a shower scrubber set and uh, it's a waste of everybody's time. Why is it a waste of everyone's time? Because you're not leveraging the power that you have over all of your competitors. This is what you wanna launch next. You wanna launch something that turns you into a brand. Not only does it increase the value of your actual business, not only does it increase the value of your brand, but it's also so much easier to just sell your current customers into your new product. We all know they have dogs. We all know that they care about their dog health. This gets the tick of approval. We don't need to go back and we actually can use the software to validate how much, um, which relevant product we should sell because we wanna stay in the same realm, but we can go and use AMZ Scout software to actually make sure that the new products we're launching are the most profitable, the most demanded um, new products. And once we have our first 5,000 customers on our first product, it's very easy to launch that second product to that same level. It's gonna take you a quarter, if that, of the time to get that second product to where that first product is. Ranked on Amazon, getting organic traffic, and moving your customers from your first product into your second product because we know what they want. We know, um, we know exactly what it is that they need in order to uh, solve their problems. And how do we know this? If, we, if we're questioning like, okay, what does our customer want next? Very, very easy. We jump into the reviews of our first product. We jump into the reviews of our competitors. This is a great example on the book, on the book stand that we're launched. So this is from Deborah. We're not gonna go into her really elaborate and uh, great looking review. But at the bottom, uh, she said that she also uses this with her book holder. And you can see it's a, a book clip. She clips it down to her actual product with this clip. Now, a little side note here, but I like to give a little side notes because uh, it helps a lot of people. You can, you can use this clip and actually bundle it with your first product in order to get ahead and get market share in that book holder niche. And people are going to love that. But you can also use this, and this is why we're here, to be to to serve Deborah to serve your customer and actually get them what they want. We know that, that they like these little book clips, so we can go and we can actually invest in these book clips, and that can be our second product. We can email, we can messenger, we can um, create an update, create a link between our two products, and funnel people who have already got our first product into our second product. So if you don't use the reviews, you can do it in a lot of other ways. How do you expand your brand? The question that you need to ask, and this is another one for your notes, is how do you serve your target market? If you're solving problems from your for your target market, they are going to give you value back in the in the in the form of money, in the, in the form of dollars. And so, our this is Deborah here in cartoon form. She's a studier. She's a book reader. And what else would she want? Here's a good idea. Deborah could want an amber light. This blocks blue light, which helps you sleep and helps you read um, later at night. Now, this goes for $16. So this will fit our profitable product matrix. And you can see a, a product like this is doing $51,000 of revenue. So you can now start scaling up. You can actually start to launch your second product far ahead of your first product. It doesn't have to be on the same level. You can keep going up and up and up as you learn this system, as you learn this algorithm, as you learn the skills and the knowledge that you need to be profitable on Amazon. So step five, and this step is the easiest step of all. It's called rinse and repeat, building out your brand. Once you do it once, you get to $200 a day, do it twice, get to $400 a day, do it three times, get to 600 a day, do it four times, get to 800 a day, do it five times, get to $1,000 a day. And why stop? Just keep launching new and newer and newer products to your target audience as you're collecting their information, as you are building an actual brand, an e-commerce brand that people love, keep launching new products that they actually love and you're gonna build a massive empire. And you can see Zesty Paws has done this to the point where they're making thousands of dollars a day just because they keep serving their customer and serving their needs. So I have a question for you now. Is it 90 days simple? If you had 90 days, do you think that you could actually go and get this done? Pop that in the, uh, pop your answer in the question box for me because it's not 
a matter of actually, uh, is it possible? So we have yes, yes. Samuel unfortunately says no. So unfortunately, Samuel, I don't think that this will be the right business for you because uh, it's not the right business for everyone. So Jid says no again. Uh, Vivek says yes. Chol says yes. Rom says yes. Uh, where are we? Keep scrolling back to the top. Brock says yes. Dwayne says yes. Adam says yes. Pauline, Sarah, Floor, Brock, Gil, Savoy, Kayla, Len. Um, if it's not 90 days simple to you, it's okay. It's not for everyone. But the question here is out there because it's not a uh, will you do it? It's this is going to get done by somebody. You know, there's hundreds of holes in the markets of Amazon at the moment, and these are going to get filled. They, this is how capitalism works, where there is there is a lot of demand, but not much supply. The supply will fill to fit that demand. And you can fit that demand and put that money into your pocket or somebody else will. And the thing is that I want to get, put it into my pocket and I want you to go and put this into your pocket. And the algorithm is simple. The formula is simple, but it's just who is going to go and execute on it. And I really do hope it's you. So are you all in? Are you excited by this? Is this the right fit for you? Because if so, and you should be if you're still here, you have an exciting choice to make. So you can choose option number one. You can do this on your own. You can spend the next 12 months guessing and calculating and going out there with your fishing rod and really hope that you reel in a delicious, uh, perfect fish. You may lose a bunch of money. Are you going to lose a bunch of time? Uh, and you're just going to go out there and hope that it gets uh, worked out. Uh, so like this cute little monkey who just gets launched into space, he needs a lot of hope out there. May pay off, but, you know, it's a little bit risky. Or you have option two. You can save months of researching, months of guesswork, and you can get winning product ideas literally at the click of a button like I showed you. You can launch instantly and start stealing your competitors' rankings and start stealing your competitors' products. You can see every amazing person, everyone who's gone out and achieved incredible success has had a mentor. You can see Michael Jordan's mentor. You can see Ellen DeGeneres had Oprah as a mentor. Mark Zuckerberg had Steve Jobs as a mentor. And all these people who have got these successful results, John Walburn, uh, this is, um, oh, what's his name? He's from Perth. Get Graham. Graham absolutely crushes it on the Australian market. Uh, once again, here's Tyler, who did $10,000 in his first month. Here's Kawhi, who did $6,000 in his first month. Um, you can see $10,000 in the first month. These are results, I've got hundreds of these results, and I can, I can actually um, link you up to these, the full page of these results, because you'll be overwhelmed with how many people are going out there and making it work. But they all had a mentor. They, they all followed a process. They all followed the training that you're getting. They all followed an actual system that works. And they don't they get rid of that guesswork. They're not a monkey launching into space, but they're actually confident every single step they make. So I have an incredible gift for you today. I'm going to take away the guesswork for you. I'm going to make sure that every step that you take, you are confident in, and you're heading towards your goal. You're heading towards that financial freedom and building that brand that is really going to change your life. And we are really lucky to have partnered with ANZ Scout because they are making this possible. They are adding so many bonuses in this gift, in this offer for you, that you are going to get results the first time if you execute it properly. You're not going to lose thousands of dollars. You're going to get the full AMZ Scout software suite, the full suite. And we can go through, uh, and it will take hours to go through exactly what you're getting here, but you're getting the web app, which helps you put the profitable filters in. This is the net that will trawl for you, the oceans of Amazon, and bring back the profitable products. You're getting the extension, which is the x-ray vision into how your competitors are going and allows you to validate uh, the niches. You're going to get the keyword trackers. You're going to get exclusive insights. You're going to get 26 niches and 26 products recommendations sent to you uh, from AMZ Scout that they've found using their software. So this is the extension. Once you click on it, you can load it up from this view here. So we've actually cut off our browser, which is not, not a problem. At the top right, there'll be a little icon, or you can hit that big uh, score down that bottom left which will give you that niche score and that'll pull up all that information for you. 
Uh, yes, Donna, the extensions will work with your MacBook. I personally use a MacBook and that will use they'll work properly uh, on that. Brock, congratulations for being in. Um, Veronica just says the word software. So I'm not sure what you're asking, Veronica, but pop that question in. I'd be I'd be happy to help you out. Um, how do you know all this is legit, Floor? Uh, there is a money back guarantee if for some reason you you don't feel like it's legit on the other side. Uh, but it's it's some um, it's just a, a leap of faith that you have to make. We we do this um, presentation. We help thousands of people, and um, you know this is a sustainable thing. This is a sustainable business for me, and a sustainable business for other people. If you have too many worries and fears, don't jump in. Uh, you do have to be the type of person to take action and um, and really you know run towards the finish line to to do as well as possible in this world. Um, congratulations, Nasli, who has purchased. Um, so what would you use to find the products like you did? Yes, so to find those products, I'll put that profitable product matrix and we can get that up on the screen for you uh, to make sure everybody who's who stayed with us gets that profitable product matrix. Uh, I would pop that, uh, let's get into the actual AMZ Scout web app. So you can see that's popped in there, but the profitable matrix here is this and you can start finding these profitable products that fit this uh, right now. Jaylana said you got a receipt, but waiting for the page to upload. That's no problem. Let me let uh, AMZ Scout know if you're having any tech, technical difficulties, but very big congratulations for jumping in. And that's, it shows that it shows that you're an action tech and shows that you are the type of person who can succeed in this world. Um, and that, yes, for the software, you'll pay, you pay it annually. Uh, but if you can get everything done within the first 12 months, just go and uh, no need to get it going for the second 12 months. It's There's no obligation to renew after 12 months. This was an amazing live event. And right now, you can get your complete tool set for Amazon sellers. It comes with AMC Scout's own course on how to find a profitable product and sell it on Amazon. Grab this bundle for only a fraction of these tools' original cost. Click the link in the description to take advantage of this special offer.